Finders keepers? It seemed like the windiest day of the year. As the wind blew, the tall trees along Bergen Street bent back and forth. An old newspaper soared into the air like a kite. The wind was so strong that you felt it could hold you up if you leaned into it. Travis and Art dug their hands into their pockets. Both boys moved slowly against the wind. Their jackets flapped behind them like capes. They were the only two people out on the sidewalk. There was a sale at the comic book store. Not even the wind was going to keep the two friends away. Neither was the fact that they only had $1.56. They didn't have enough money to buy even one comic book, but they could still look at all the great comics for sale. When we get there, I'm going straight to the Team Turbo Speed comics, said Travis. I love how those guys can be anywhere in the world in about two seconds. Have you read any of the Rubber Rudy series? Art asked. In one of them, he bounces like a ball all the way to the moon. Travis nodded. That one was great, he said. The friend stopped in front of the ice cream shop. Up ahead, a car pulled into a parking space in front of the animal shelter. A woman in a yellow hat and coat got out of the car. She was struggling to keep the wind from blowing the hat off her head. If you could be a comic book hero, who would it be? Travis asked Art. I'd call myself Imagination Man, Art said. I could just imagine something and it would come true. I wish you really were Imagination Man, Travis said. Then you could imagine we had enough money to buy comic books and ice cream. Art laughed. Let's give it a try, he said. He closed his eyes and raised his arms in the air. I am Imagination Man. I am imagining enough money to buy a lot of comic books and a lot of ice cream. There was a gust of wind. A piece of green paper flew through the air. It landed on the sidewalk a few feet away. Did you see that? cried Travis. He ran to the paper and stepped on it. What is it? Art asked. Travis bent down and picked up the paper. It was a hundred dollar bill. Where did that come from? Art asked. Travis's eyes grew wide. You really are Imagination Man, he said to his friend. You imagined the money and here it is. Just think how many comics we can get for that, Art replied. And ice cream, added Travis. Meanwhile, the woman in yellow was hurrying down the sidewalk. She called to the boys, but her voice could barely be heard above the wind. You caught it! She said, catching her breath. She pointed to the $100 bill. I opened my wallet to get money for the meter and the wind blew that bill away. You are such wonderful boys for catching it for me. How can I thank you? Art was about to say that they had not known the money was hers, but then he looked at Travis. His friend was already reaching out his hand to give back the $100 bill. No problem, Travis said. We're happy to help. Art nodded to show he agreed. Then the door of the ice cream shop opened. A man in a white apron and a baseball cap stepped outside. Is everything okay out here? He asked. Oh, yes, said the woman. Do you know what these two nice boys just did for me? She told the shop owner about the money. The woman turned and smiled at the boys. That's the money I saved for the animal shelter, she said. A lot of animals will be taken care of because of you. You're heroes. I'll say, said the shop owner, and you should both get a hero's reward. I'll be right back. A few moments later, the shop owner returned and handed each boy a gift card. These are for you, he said. I think most kids would have wanted to keep that money for themselves. Travis and Art looked at each other. Those gift cards will get you one free ice cream cone every week for a month, the shop owner said. I have another idea too. Can I take a picture of the three of you? You want to take our picture? Travis asked. He looked at Art. If you don't mind, answered the shop owner, I'd like to put it up on the board I have in my shop. What a wonderful idea, said the woman. She pulled a small mirror from her handbag. But give me a moment to fix my hat. I almost lost it in this wind. The shop owner went back inside for his cell phone. Meanwhile, Art and Travis took a few steps back. 
Are we going to say something? Art asked. We should, but it's getting harder every minute. They think we're heroes, said Travis. A moment later, the shop owner came back. He asked the two boys to stand next to the woman. Say ice cream, the shop owner said as he took their picture. Just then, a news van pulled up. A reporter and a cameraman got out. Hi, folks, the reporter said. We're doing a story about today's weather. Are any of you interested in being on the news tonight? The woman stepped forward and began to tell the reporter how Travis and Art had saved her $100 bill. That's a much better story than the weather, isn't it? She said. What do you think, boys? Asked the reporter. Do you two heroes want to be on tonight's news? Sure they do, said the ice cream shop owner. Travis looked at Art. What were they supposed to do? The cameraman was already busy setting up. The reporter was talking to the woman and the ice cream shop owner. Travis whispered to Art. If we don't say something soon, we're going to feel really bad. I know, Art whispered back. This whole thing has gotten out of control. Travis took a breath. Excuse me, he said loudly. Excuse me. Everyone stopped. Even the wind seemed to stop. Travis turned to the woman. I'm sorry, he said, but we didn't know it was your money. We found it on the sidewalk, and it only looked like we were bringing it to you. We were going to the comic book store. We were going to use the money to buy comics, Art added. Travis turned to the ice cream shop owner. And maybe some ice cream too, he said. The ice cream shop owner shook his head. You boys are pretty brave for speaking up. You didn't have to. We would have said something sooner, said Art. But everything happened so fast. It sure did, said the woman. You say you were going to use the money to buy comic books? Yes, said Travis. We both collect them. The woman grinned. What luck, she said. I have some old comics in my basement that are yours if you want them. No one has looked at them in years. We'd love to take them, said Travis. Thank you very much, added Art. The boys picked up the comics later that afternoon. Back at Travis's house, they began to look through the stacks. They found some of their favorite comic book heroes and some cool new ones they had never heard of. Even Imagination Man couldn't have imagined a day as good as this, Art said. Toolbox, Author's Purpose Finder. I want to test the author's purpose finder. Can you take a look? Play! Select the correct folder that matches the author's purpose. Dogs are the best pets you can have. Give information. Entertain. Give an opinion. Give excellent. Select the correct folder that matches the author's purpose. After the knight found the magic ring, he saved the princess. Enter fantastic. Select the correct folder that matches the author's purpose. You can make a brick from mud and straw. Good. Select the correct folder that matches the author's purpose. I love playing all kinds of games, but I like board games the most. Great! Select the correct folder that matches the author's purpose. Tina and Tommy flew their spaceship all the way to Pluto.
Yes, good try. Incredible! Oh no, it looks like we've run out of books. Wait, I forgot about all the books over here. Great job!